worth the trip right there, boys. Yeah, man. A lot Beautiful. Of work, but a lot of fun. There she goes. Oh, that's the monster we came out here for. Yes, sir. All right, how about that? Look at the copper on that fish, huh? Beautiful. <laughs> look, at, look at the size of that fish. Insane. Okay. <laughs> look at the spots on that fish. <laughs> nice fish, man. All right, so that's it. We've caught all the bull reds that we wanted to catch out here today. We could sit out here and just keep doing this over and over. Uh, but we got some fish to stick. I got to get this guy over here on his, uh, on his big portion of the video today. <laughs> all right, so we've jumped out of the boat and we're out here walking around looking for these flounders. So I want to show you guys real quick um, some of the differences between what I'm using and what Danny's using. Now the light that I'm using is a, a light that my buddy Adam's kind of let me borrow. It's called uh, Jerry's Lights. Um, this light here, I believe it's a 2K light, whereas Danny's using a 3K light. I know the big differences between the 2K and a 3K. The 2K is more for uh, your dirtier water conditions. Um, and his, that brighter light is for clear water conditions. Just the same as, you know, when you're driving your car and you turn your high beams on in the fog and you can't really see much. You need, you need that little bit of a lower wattage or a low lower um, illumination to be able to see and um, this water out here is uh, it's absolutely crystal clear uh, his light is actually doing a really really good job but all this basically is is a 12 volt battery that we have in a backpack that's wired all the way down to this LED light down here on the end and it's just different various sticks this is just basically a PVC stick with a handle his looks like a little better, uh, maybe a carbon composite material. Yeah, super light. Yeah, really lightweight. Um, this Jerry's, I believe this comes from uh, Texas. I'll put the information in the description of the video below. And he got his down in um, South Carolina. What does it say on the, the knob Moon, there? Moonlight Outfielder, Moonlight Outfielders, and Monk's Corner. Monk's Corner. That's up there on South Charleston, Carolina. right? Yeah, so him and I are walking pretty much side by side and we've got easily a, a 10 or 12 foot uh, space covered, which is nice. Danny, Danny does a lot of flounder gigging out of the boat. And uh, you know, him and I, when we were talking about wanting to get out here and do this trip, this was one of the things that made sense for us to try, just get out here and just walk the edge of a beach with a light and let's see what happens. So that's what we're doing. So uh, I'll shut the camera off next time we come back. Hopefully uh, we got a fish to see if we can really want to try to point one out before I stick it so we can get an idea of as far as uh, what light looks better for finding these things. Okay. So if you guys can see him right there. Point him out. I'm pointing him out. I'll throw a little arrow out at there. Right there. All right. Uh, here we go. Get, get, get straight over him. Don't go at the angle. All right. I got him right here. Straight over him. Straight over him. Drive him hard. And hold him. Got him. Yeah, so what, I, what Danny was explaining earlier, you guys, is there's these little kind of depressions, uh, like kind of like these little potholes. And I was looking over to my left and I saw one of these little potholes and I thought, huh, I wonder if that's, and it's sure enough, as soon as I, we kind of turned over and I started looking a little more to the left, that's exactly where the summer flounder was sitting. To pick him up so you can show him. Yeah, sure. I'm still trying to get this little thing undone here. There we go. Oh, that's a nice size one there. Got him. So there you go, a little. Oh, let me put the light on him. There we go. Nice fat. Look how fat he is. Yeah, big old fatty. So let's go ahead and run that through his gill. Go ahead and stick your hand right on in there. There you go, just like that. Perfect. You got him now. All right. See a nice one? Yeah, we don't we want to go ahead and gig it. We don't want to yeah. get up on him. Yeah, go ahead. Where is he at? Come on. Come on to me. Right there. Oh, I see him. Oh, that is a big one. The size of his tail. Oh, yeah. You going to stick him? Yeah. Okay. You can go ahead and stick him. He's shallow. 
Oh yeah. Dunzo. <laughs> Dunzo. There he is. Turn your light away for a second. Let's see if that makes a difference. Yep, there we go. So you'll see this guy down here. Boop. Here he is. One for sure. that's another one. Oh no, that's another one. We don't walk up on two within 15, 20 yards. Yeah, we might be in a good spot here, Danny. I'm out. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> he's yeah. He's from he's from circles around me. I stuck I stuck him in the head with a gig. <laughs> he still. He said, "Man, I ain't done." Sea hunt's not floating right now. <laughs> so it's intermission time right now. Uh, we just made our way back to the boat just to uh, grab a little bit of water, some caffeine, and a little bit of snacks. Uh, the tide's completely dropped out right now, so um, we're waiting for the tide to come back in. Uh, Danny has done his best flounder gigging on the incoming tides, so uh, we are saving the best for last, I guess you could say. But I just want to show you real quick uh, kind of what we got. We got five really nice sized flounder already. And honestly, this isn't bad. This is a brand new spot. Uh, he has never been out here messing around. I've never been out here messing around looking for flounder. Just kind of looked like a good spot where these flounders should be as far as uh, clean water on a sandbar out here kind of by the beach. But there's four and then the big guy just kind of flopped on down the side there. But not bad, not bad at all. Uh, we still have about probably another two more hours of gigging, which is really cool. Uh, so we're going to go try a brand new area. That area that we were on earlier, uh, where we started sticking them uh, pretty continuously, was honestly a good area in my mind. But uh, we want to try a new piece of water. So we're going to push a little bit over further this way and see if we can maybe get some more. We've got a couple more hours of uh, water. Definitely a keeper. All right, round two. <laughs> get over him good. Oh, yeah. Bye. Nice. All right, so we're out in the main channel now, just kind of mixing it up a little bit. So yeah, like I was saying, there was a, a nice little slough up here to our right. The water's dumping out. And I mentioned to Danny, I said, I think this will be a good spot for them because they're just kind of, they obviously don't have the water over there anymore. So they're pulling back over here. That guy's going wild. And they're just basically staging, waiting for the water, the tide to come back in so they can get back into their home waters. And, um, I found one right here where, where I thought it would be. <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> so I just, I just spooked my first one. I was going a little fast, swing in circles. She's going to be right up here, right in front of me. I don't see her yet, but that's the direction she went. So what we're doing now is we're gonna see if she uh, if she lays down again. I think this is her right here. Is that the ripples? No, she still went this way. I can see the dust from her. What Danny's telling me of these flounder is sometimes when you spook them, they'll run off, you know, 10, 20, 30 feet, and then they'll just lay right back down again. There she is right here. You see her? Right in that hole. Okay, perfect. See her? Yep, I see her. Got her. <laughs> we found her. We found her. Maybe it's her. I think it's her. This is the dust trail goes right, right, right to here. We are back on land, man. You just want to talk about a long night. In the beginning of the video, I kind of mentioned we were going to be out there for about 20 or 24 hours, and yeah, we were out there for every bit of that. Uh, I actually just woke up here exhausted again, and this is day two. The boat's been sitting here dirty, waiting on uh, my helper over here to 
come on back after he gets his, uh, his rest in. But I wanna take just a quick second. I wanna show you guys some of the fish. I wanna cover some of the points uh, that I didn't get a chance to mention while we're out there fishing um, or gigging, as well as kind of cover some of the gear and the equipment now that the sun's up and you guys can get a little better chance to see. Uh, so as far as the fish goes, uh, we gigged 16 fish total. They all range everywhere from about 14 inches uh, of this little guy here all the way up to, I think this dude is about 20, 20 and a half, something like that. Uh, but they're all really, really nice size uh, flounder. A lot of them are honestly a little too big for the frying pan. Uh, so we're gonna have to fillet these up and cook them a little bit differently. But uh, one of the things I wanna uh, touch on when you're out there flounder gigging that I experienced as a brand new guy gigging is these fish appear smaller in, uh, with the eyeball than they actually are. So by the time you see a fish and you, you think, eh, he's a little small, uh, he could be borderline and you stick him and you grab that fish and you hold it up, you realize, wow, that fish is a lot bigger than I thought. Uh, but one of the things I do wanna share with you guys is if you think the fish is too small, let it go. Uh, you don't want to get caught with an undersized flounder. In Georgia, the limit has to be, uh, or the size has to be 12 inches or, or more. Uh, so don't get caught with an illegal fish. Just let that fish go. If you want to come back and uh, hit the area again, you know, a month later, that fish will have grown another inch and he'll definitely be back in the size uh, that is legal. But just kind of something to, to think about out there. Just be patient. You're going to see quite a few out there. I know we did. I spooked uh, maybe three or four by accident and wasn't able to go back and chase them down, they just, they just took off. And you guys, honestly, this is 16 flounder in an area that we've never gigged before, just out there kind of walking around and trying to see what would work. Uh, now, when it comes to cleaning these guys, I have a little tip for you that I wanna show you. I'm not gonna actually show you the process, I'm just gonna talk about it real quick. But I like to just take my basic Craftsman pressure washer. Uh, you don't have to have the 3000, you can use like a 1500 electric one. Lay these flounder down on the side, or on your sidewalk, or on a towel, and just pressure wash them against the grain of their, uh, of their scales. And what that'll do is that'll knock all those scales off. It keeps you clean. You don't have to worry about getting a little scaling knife or nothing like that. And it's very, very fast. So if you want to fry these guys whole or, or leave the skin on, which I do recommend, because uh, the skin is, is uh, tasty when it crisps up, that's uh, definitely a way to approach that. Now, when it comes to the gear, uh, I got my gear and I got Danny's gear laid out here. Now the gear that I used, I borrowed from my buddy Adam. So first and foremost, Adam, thank you brother so much for uh, letting me use your gear. Uh, you guys, what I was gonna do uh, with this flounder gigging trip is I was just gonna go online and I was gonna buy some underwater lights off of Amazon, some underwater flashlights. I was gonna find some way just to kind of tape them up to a piece of PVC and just make do because I didn't have time to go out and get any of these uh, fancy lights. But my boy Adam came through uh, and he let me borrow his. But I wanna show you the difference between what I have and the difference between what Danny has. Now, what's, what you see here on the left is um, just basically a, a wooden handle gig and a plastic PVC with a light. This is what I borrowed from my buddy Adams. This is Jerry's Lights. Uh, it's just a basic PVC pipe with a handle here that actually will slide up and down. That's what the back side of it looks like. Looks like it's just got some PVC that he's custom cut. Uh, he's got electrical wire here that runs Two, two little butt connectors like that. And it runs off of one of these Duracell 12 volt batteries, just like this. Uh, you can pick these batteries up fairly inexpensive. I think they're anywhere from like 23 to 27 bucks, depending on the brand you get. Uh, but you get the battery and you also need a way to carry the battery, which is just a standard backpack. Now this is just my little diaper bag that I've been using forever uh, with my kids and for the, the ammunition range before we had the kids and stuff like that. Uh, but it just holds the battery, it holds a couple balls of water, it can hold some stringers and some uh, forceps if you need anything like that, some snacks and stuff like that. Because what you want is you want to be able to have stuff with you when you're out here and you're, you're flounder gigging because you're going to be away from the boat. Now if you were on the boat sticking fish, different story. But you're out here traveling away from the boat. We were at one point, we were probably what, about a mile away from the boat. We had to leave the blue LEDs on in a distance so you would uh, be able to, we'd be able to go back to the boat. But um, just carry a little bag with you. Hey baby. You want to say hi, Leilani? Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> so that's my little setup here. Uh, Danny's setup, slightly different, very similar as far as the, uh, the components go. Uh, but this is his company here that he bought from. They are right there in uh, just south of uh, South Carolina. But it's called M M Midlight Moon Outfitter. That's a mouthful. There's the phone number. He doesn't have a website, I believe. So you have to give that phone number a call and uh, check him out but <laughs> the kids are back. But uh, this is it, it's just basically a, uh, some sort of a composite looking pole. He has a light that's very similar to what uh, Jerry's lights is. It's just painted blue and that's it as far as the light goes. 
That's it, you guys. We had an absolute blast out here uh, gigging and catching these bull reds. 16 uh, flounder and eight or 10 bull reds. I'm not even sure I lost count. It's definitely a good night out here. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, you guys. God bless.